Hi, I'm Matthew, and welcome to the Let's Play Four. Super Mario Galaxy! Woohoo! Super Mario Galaxy 2, actually. Mario decides not to say the 2 for some reason, but never mind. Man, it feels really lonely here. It feels really weird to do a solo Let's Play after all. After. So it's been probably a year since I've done a solo Let's Play. So, it's probably gonna. The first few parts are probably gonna be quite bland until I get used to the idea of doing it solo again. Oh, doing it solo sounds a bit weird, but <laughs> never mind. Anyways, let's get straight into it by loading up a new game save here. I'll just use um, my me right here. Um, so yeah, uh, after I guess half a year of being on break, we're finally back uh, with the two channels. This The channel that this video is on is now officially my solo channel and all the cooperative videos will be on the other channel. If you're not aware of the other channel, here's a quick annotation to that, just so you know where it is. And we're currently doing two Let's Plays on that channel, so, you know, look forward to watching those. But we're here to talk about Super Mario Galaxy 2, or here to play, rather. Um, in terms of the storyline, it runs, I guess, kind of parallel with Super Mario Galaxy 1, which is kind of disappointing. I was personally expecting more of a... Um, direct sequel, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, the game starts, like the first one, Star Festival, a bunch of star bits falling out, and um, some few, some coins right here that you might want to pick up and whatnot. Uh, for those who have played Super Mario Galaxy 1, like, your controls are essentially exactly the same. You have this pointer, which uh, you can use to pick up star bits, like so. Uh, Mario's got these standard acrobatic controls, control stick to walk around, A to jump, uh, Z to crouch, C would centralize the camera, but this is a 2D section, so you can't really do that at the moment. And he's got a few other controls we'll learn as we go through the game. First things first, we're about to run into this guy. For those who played Galaxy 1, we'll recognize this guy straight away, and he does the exact same thing, which is awesome to see him back. Especially after how <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy 1 ended. Not to ruin anything, but yeah. That was a sad moment for me. Anyway, he's back, but considering it's a parallel storyline, it's not... He doesn't really know you, although he likes you, so it's all good. And joins you and you get that same spin ability. Lovely. Spin ability... The spin ability feels a bit different in this one, actually. Um, it's after you do, like... I can't do it here because you need a kind of wall jump, but... Um, after wall jumping, the spin ability doesn't work as well. Maybe it's just me, but, you know, maybe I'm just complaining for no reason. But yeah, spin ability, you can break crystals, just like in the first one. I know I'm comparing a lot to the first one, so it's gonna really suck if you've never played the first one, but... Essentially, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is like, Super Mario Galaxy 1, but more levels, or new levels, rather. Well, news, the word new levels even stretching it. They reuse a lot of the bosses in, um in this game from Super Mario Galaxy 1 and a few of the levels too actually which is kind of disappointing but you know whatever uh, this guy free up this guy phew I'm free but where am I? you are at Mushroom Kingdom thank you very much oh this is where things go to hell oh holy crap <laughs> now the game starts going 3D but I still can't control the camera which kind of sucks but yeah ooh scary sound ooh what is that scary sound uh, let's grab some more stuff holy hell oh my god Christ on a bike it's him man he's huge Ah, oh, no, no shit! <laughs> Just gonna collect some star bits and whatnot, free these guys. You don't have to really free them, but sure, why not? Yeah, these guys refer to Bowser as a monster, and here he is just wrecking our castle there. Still haven't paid the mortgage on that, so we're really screwed. The sky is falling, everything's going down, it's all depressing and whatnot. Where's the ship? No, we'll get to the ship later. You're not meant to know about the ship just yet, but never mind. You're too late, Mario! Oh man, I don't, actually, I'm not going to do voice acting, especially after Sunshine. <clears throat> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to mention that. Peach could very easily just jump down and use her umbrella or parasol and free herself, but you know, whatever. And yes, Bowser is huge. If you're irresponsible, you could take this whole scene very irresponsibly. <laughs> Galaxy-sized slice of cake right now, lovely. Wait, yep. And he will go away right about now. Wait, oh, there we go. And there's a drug reference. Boom, there we go. And everything's happy again. Well, no, not really, but like at least it's daylight again. Everyone's all toads are still screaming. Oh, you, you do nothing, I do all the work. 
stay calm, yes, you seem to be doing a good job of that. And over there, they're calling to us, Mario, just over there, so we'll head off over there. Collect these star bits. I will save the princess, as per usual. Long jump, no, okay. Hello dudes, these guys are called Lumas. L-U-M-A, if you don't know how to spell them. Uh, that'll help us. And the guy in our cap is referred to as the Master Luma, who gives us the spin ability, which is pretty awesome. Uh, some more story. Not much to say about the storyline. It is a Mario game after all, so you know stories don't really. Yeah, storylines just rescue the princess, same old stuff. He turns into a launch star for those, of course, Galaxy One launch stars are in there. And what you do to launch stars, you walk into them, you flick the Wii Mote, and you go cub boom. Now off the timing there, but it doesn't matter. And that takes us to the first level, the Sky Station Galaxy. Good, uh, good level to start the game, and where's my pointer? There we go. Pee Wee Piranha's Tampa Tan- uh, Tampa Tan- ah, Tampa Tantrum, my bad. Man, it feels weird to be doing solid commentaries again. Really weird. Because, well, for starters, after this guy speaks to us, our power stars, the monster stolen, uh, we gotta get him back, etc, etc. Alright. But yeah, it feels weird doing uh, solo LPs again. Because I know they're not gonna be as funny as the ones that I do as a group, and so yeah, you gotta get used to that idea, and it'll probably take me a few parts to actually get used to the idea of being solo. Now, what I just did there was um, the homing ground pound, where you do your jump, spin, and then press Z, and it's meant to home in on enemies, but it doesn't really want to work. Okay, this is... come on, please work. Okay, well you can't really tell that that worked, but yeah. Anyways, what you want to do, this is a little shortcut, you can just uh, back up on this wall, jump up like so, and that's a bit of a shortcut. Uh, and we'll talk to this guy, uh, other rumors told us about us, blah blah blah, launch star, lovely. Uh, yep, thank you for some hand card. Boom! Lovely. Oh, and breaks this, pick up some star bits. You will want to collect as many star bits as possible, because later on throughout the game you will need them to unlock some d levels. Luma just telling us to go this way, yes, follow. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick shortcut. Like so. Oh, lovely. This flag here denotes a checkpoint, so if you, in the event of where you die, um, and that's an extra life, you will spawn back at the checkpoint. Uh, this question mark here does some random stuff. In this case, it puts up some notes, so let's go ahead and start collecting them. Once you collect all the notes, something good happens. In this case, it's uh, three one-ups. Lovely. Uh, this thing here, you spin in the middle, and eight star bits appear. What's it, eight? One, two, three, four, eight. Yep. And over here is a new thing in Galaxy 2. Uh, basically what you do, you spin in it and you get transported to some random location in which what you have to actually do is destroy all the enemies. And if you do that within the time limit, uh, then you get three one-ups. They basically hand a bunch of one-ups in this game. Which doesn't mean much because every time you restart the console you always start off with four, which is annoying. But yeah. Uh, so now we just kind of have to wait for the time limit to go away. Yeah, but yeah, we already got 50 star bits. 50 star bits is a 1-up, I think, I hope. I'm not sure I should have been paying attention because I would have noticed. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Another thing I'm doing here, um, which I get used to, is not recording in batches. What I normally do is record maybe 10 parts in the same sitting, and I stuffed up that jump. Hang on, let's say it again. Okay, <clears throat> I will do this. There's no way. Come on. Okay, I did this perfectly before, hang on. No, it doesn't matter, I'll just go the normal way, which I can't even do anymore. No way, Han, I can do this. There we go. For some reason, if you do a backflip as that platform is going up, you jump really, you jump a lot higher than usual. That could just be me, but it just seems that way. Uh, what you want to do is uh, get to this coin, do a backflip, and then spin, and you can get some extra coins like so. Uh, there's another way to get to that, um, which we'll go into a moment, but that's more or less a shortcut, if anything else. Ooh, nice. Gravity. Ooh, give me that. Thank you. Spin, don't touch the controller for a few moments, and uh, you'll see that that's how you get to that star, but if you keep uh, waiting, you'll land on this planet so you can pick up these four coins, lovely. And we can take this launch star, kaboom! Make our way to the next sort of planet type thing. Oh yeah, these black holes are like your death. Uh, you may notice I just spam here and unlock that flag. You don't have to actually touch the flag, you can just spin near it. Our old Goomba friends, uh, jump on them, they give you a coin. Which, yeah, one almost owns me before actually, so yeah. Uh, if you spin them and then kick them, and you kick them by just walking into them, then I'll just show that off quickly. Okay, I would show that off quickly, but he killed himself. Oh, one up. Didn't know that was there. Um, I'll, I'll kick another one later up. 
I don't know what these guys are called, so if someone wants to tell me, that'd be nice. Uh, another thing too, if you just walk in the grass, you can find some coins and whatnot. Anyways, back on topic, I need to find the Goomba so I can kick him. Whoa, I almost got killed just then. I really don't want to die in the first level. Alright, here we go. So you spin it, and then you walk up to it. Well, you normally would walk up to it and kick it, and it drops star bits instead of coins. So you might want to do that instead, considering that star bits, in my opinion, are a bit more valuable. Uh, don't go into that launch star just yet. What you want to do is hop onto this platform, like so, and pick up this thing here, known as the Comet Medal. Uh, collect them to make comets appear. We'll get into comets later. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. My controls went a bit uh, wonky for a second there. But yeah, anyway, spin and kaboom. Any star bits for me to collect? Yes. Lovely. Bang. Ah, uh, here, right here is a life mushroom. Just might want to go ahead and pick that up. And you notice that your health will double to six, which is always nice. And get this checkpoint here. And just go up this way. Woo, I love that effect. I have some enemies to destroy. I'll just leave them alone. They don't deserve to die. Uh, just behind here is a one-up. There we go. And we'll head off into the start, into the Piranha Boss. Bam! Oh wait, no, bam, there we go. Oh my god! Ah, oh, this is easy stuff, it's just easy boss. What you have to do is spin the eggshell part of it three times, and then it will go mental, basically, or twice, actually. I thought it was three times, but never mind. And then spin it again in the red zone, and it gets hurt. And you just have to do that one more time, and you win, which is always nice. This boss is not threatening in the slightest. Might want to go ahead and collect those star bits, you will need them. Ow! Yeah, it laughs when it hurts you, but then, because of the fact that it's laughing, then you actually get to, you know, hit it. So it shouldn't do that, but never mind. I was convinced you had to hit that thing three times before it went into that mode, but never mind, maybe it's just three times to destroy it. And easily done! Kaboom! First star of the game. But before I collect that, I just want to just collect some of these star bits, because I will need them. I might just edit this out. And here's our first star, lovely! Wahoo, indeed! And here we are, just, uh, yeah. yeah. Man, 6 minutes and 40 seconds, Jesus. And uh, Comet Medal, yep. Got some star bits, yep. And we got some coins. Lovely. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, who's that guy? Oh, wow, he's, he's let himself go. I am Mario. And Bowser's the monster. Ah, his name's Lubber. Lubber! This, oh impressive, this is a very impressive spaceship you have here. Well done. Ah, so that's the ship that Luma was referring to back at uh, Princess Peach's castle. Deep space cold indeed. Don't really have much to say about here, I might just talk about some random stuff. Um, let me think, yeah, well I've, I mentioned everything I need to mention. Uh, cooperative videos are on a new channel. This channel's for solo videos. Yeah, just give me a few parts to get used to the idea of being solo again, because I haven't done solo commentaries in over a year, and it feels really weird to be talking to myself. Uh, this is funny. You can pick between that's right and yes. I'm going to go ahead and pick that's right. It doesn't make a difference, obviously. And uh, I'll pick yes this time, just to change things up a bit. It's a deal indeed. Here it goes, they're about to turn this piece of rock into a spaceship. Hang on. Go. Boom! I love the explosions in this game. And it looks like Luigi! It actually, it's, it's obviously meant to be Mario, but yeah. Lovely. That's an awesome spaceship there. And that's the lamest pun I've ever heard. Face ship. I'll just refer to it as the face ship from now on. It's actually called Starship Mario, but, you know, face ship, it's fine. But, yeah, I think we're out of time here. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first part. I know it was a bit dull. It feels weird to be doing it solo again. But, yeah, um, just 
if if you found it entertaining, just feel free to post a comment. If if you hated it, you know, feel free to post a comment. Uh, tell me how you think I can improve and whatnot. But yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.